Yo, what's going on and welcome back to some more Dark Souls 3, the Convergence mod. Last time we had a lot of bosses get taken down. We took down the Stray Demon first, then we took down the Royal Dark Wraith, and then we took down the Undead Legion. And now it seems like we need to go to the Catacombs. So that will be our next destination. Um, before we do that, I wanted to check what the souls that we got can actually make. So I forgot to do that at the end of last time. And once we get enough souls, it's, I think it was like 16,000, somewhere between 16,000 and 20,000. Uh, oh, we might need 20,000 because I think we need to buy two large Titanite shards and one Titanite chunk to get our weapon to plus nine. So we'll probably need about 20,000 souls. Um, unfortunately, we don't have enough souls, so everything's darked out, which is a little unfortunate. Stray Demon gives you Boulder Heave, which was him chucking the boulders out of his mouth. Stray Demon also gives you Gravel Spray, which could have also been him chucking the boulders out of his mouth. <laughs> I don't know how big Gravel is for a Stray Demon. So he does have two things, but I don't see any way to refight him. Unless he respawns just normally. So that's kind of weird. What is this? Summon icy shards that seek your foes. Okay, let's look through. Undead Legion, we have Siphon. Drain blood from your foes to restore your health. Um, what else do we have? Undead Legion, we got the Wolf's Knight Great Sword. Or Wolf's Knight Sword. Does physical damage with no scalings, huh? And the Dark Wraith gave us the Royal Dark Sword, which does dark damage. Undead Legion also gives the Farin Great Sword, which we probably won't really have the stats to wield. It's also very heavy. Kindle Wolf Blood uses one's weight. Oh, okay, so it's, it's the same as normal. Nothing special there. Hi, Morgan. Stray Demon also gives you the Demon's Fist, which I think were a starting weapon for one of the classes. It does all fire damage, has lots of scalings. Royal Dark Wraith also gives the Abyssal Flame. Good for dark magic. Creates a black flame in the wielder's hands. We might want to get that. Just because I'm thinking maybe we could combine a, like hexes and and our physical wind magic. But first we're focusing on wind magic. We don't really have the faith to do hexes quite yet. And then we do have another greater foe. I don't know if we actually want any of these rings. You probably can't wear the same ring twice, right? But we could use like a ring like this. Or a ring like this. We're not getting the miracle or the conjuration component, but boost to all absorption by 10% and massive poise boost. It's like those things could be useful to us. Who's all weapon? I mean that that would be a great thing. If you were using weapons, which we are not really doing. And a soul gain ring could be good as well, just for farming. I still haven't figured out what SP is. Um, I tried asking. I didn't look it up, which maybe I should have. I tried asking, and my friend thought it was maybe stamina, but we've definitely seen items that say stamina recovery. So why would they use different wording on different items? Not exactly sure. So let us get to the catacombs, which is here. Hopefully we can get through the catacombs pretty cleanly. Uh, we already explored the little beginning part. 
So we should hopefully just be able to run past a lot of that. And we could also do some sniping and stuff. We're pretty good at that. Like, what's our damage looking like? These guys are resistant, kind of, huh? But it's still one shot, so... As well... Oh! Apparently, that guy saw me or something? So if they block it, they can live. We probably want to get these archers over here, though. Because those guys... Man, that, that covenant's a little bit of a pain, huh? You got lots of enemies just around it. Oh, we didn't get the worm or the lizard last time. Luckily, now we can just one-shot it. What? He left, I guess? Nope. Yep. Alright, I guess we'll have to fight that guy when we actually get there. And we already opened that chest. So let's get a moving. Man, it is just way too dark. We went. Did we go down to that area? I do not remember. Forgot about that. I don't remember if we went that way. We definitely did, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did go that way. Because that's the way if you go left. Probably should take Wind Blade. Who is shooting at us? He's just up there. Alright, I just don't want to get killed, essentially. I'd like to clear all of this area. And hopefully get all the storm debris that we need along the way. Do we need to go up here just to deal with annoying people? Oh wow. You survived. I hate that these guys are just barely living. Oh, hello. Maybe we should consider either using the other spell or putting on that other ring. So these guys don't live. Not an illusory wall. And that candle looked like an item out there. The last time we also fought a difficult enemy down here. Probably won't respawn. No, what, what was his name? Like Appa or something? Like a blood summoner? He was back in this corner? I'm pretty sure we went and did all this. Yeah. So we just need to go that way. We can also check what's over here. Don't think we went that way. We we like ran away from this guy from here. Or this direction. Because this is where we came from because we fell. Kind of strong. Was there anything else down here? D 
do less damage by holding this torch, but... Oh, it was just the this. Just the this. And did, did you have anything worth going for? The lich stuff. I mean, it's cool, but I don't think we're going for Grave Lord magic, at least not right now. Ah, oh, we need the torch. <laughs> I hate I hate how dark it is. I can't see anything. How am I supposed to effectively explore? So down we go. This is Boulder Town though now, huh? Oh. You did not die. Where is the boulder? Oh. Oh wait, I didn't need to drink. First of all, I forgot we had a healing ring. Second of all, uh, we had we survived with way more health than I expected to. So do we follow the boulder or do we wait for it to come up? It doesn't travel very far, so we wait for it to go up. Now we need to kill the guy who is keeping the boulder alive. Apparently that was not him. We can't get that item. We might be able to open that up in the future. Can't fight that guy. That guy might be the guy who's keeping the boulder alive. I don't see anything. I don't see any anyone else around. Oh, it's you. Okay, good thing we checked. So the boulder should come down here and then explode, right? Yeah. Twinkling Titanite. Not an undead bone shard, but it's okay. Oh, watch for switches. We like we literally could not see the switches without uh, the torch. It's just not possible. Now is that guy was really hidden though. Like we walked right past him without noticing him. And w when did you come back? Oh, those staggered. That's amazing. <laughs> that other guy did not get hit. This thing is really bad at piercing. It definitely pierces, but its piercing capabilities of actually hitting something with the pierce are not good. These guys don't do very much damage, huh? Because I don't have any health. Are they actually just being knocked into the ground because they're getting hit so hard by this? But like, I don't have very much health. I guess, does that ring, it also gives 10% defense on everything, right? That, that ring is really good. Ooh. I'm glad that we can one-shot, uh, Titanite. Or, I guess they're Titanite lizards? Titanite crystal lizards? Crystal lizards are the big ones, right? Ooh, maybe, uh, Stormfront? Yeah, that looked pretty cool. Wasn't as big as I thought it would be. That kind of gives us a better idea of how large that is. We used it like here and it went like out there, which is not not great. It's, it's really hard to get off an AoE spell like that, I feel like.
It's because you have to be so close to people already, or you have to be predicting them to walk into your range. Milk ring. Is that... It's gonna make us invisible like normal? Where is it here? Boost dexterity. Wait, how much does it boost dexterity? Of course, we have the dex ring right next to it, so I couldn't tell. And obscures the wearer while rolling. Probably not gonna make use of that. What was this ring up here? Gain more strength as you have more equip load. I was think, I was trying to think of like some more counterintuitive builds because um, a lot of times as a sorcerer you just don't want to get hit, right? Oh my god! But what if we were just so tanky that we could just sit there like a Havel monster? Um, but you cast spells. It seems like a cool idea. I feel like it doesn't really happen that much in this game. Mostly because, uh, you can't roll at all if you're trying to do that. It depend depending on what gear you're going, but you're... Like, our vitality is terrible. Just absolutely awful right now. So, we either need more vitality to be able to do that, or we need to accept that we're never rolling. <laughs> Which is questionable to do that. But I have thought of um, how we might make that happen a little bit. Grave Lord relics. God. You're not even the one who shot me. You're the one who shot me. Okay, we're gonna... Oh, we did not trade. I was gonna trade with him, but... Uh, I got the roll, so we didn't have to trade. Bye. I love how much damage this thing does. You have a hat on. You're just a crazy guy that... I oh, you're very tanky. That's terrible news, because I don't have the mana to take you out. Do you know how to get over here? That's a little concerning. He's not coming out there though. Maybe not. Oh, there he is. Does he know how to get over here? Doesn't seem like it. Are you kidding me? Now does this work? We killed a bone wheel skeleton, not the guy I was going for. He's still down there. If I could lock onto him, then fire this real quick before the lock on breaks, then we can kill him. Now we do have slightly less damage just because I'm not um, wielding the dagger. Maybe when we see a guy like that, we just switch. Hello, sir. Oh, if you roll through them, they just give up. This place is great. How do you even, like, get so many skeletons in the same place? Like, I guess you gotta just throw dead bodies on top of each other. Because otherwise, like... Someone's not gonna curl up and die on top of a bunch of skeletons, are they? That's not my ideal location for where I want to curl up and die. You're fine, huh? Man, there's a lot of you over there. Good thing we got tons of damage. Oh, you're alive. Okay. There's a switch right here. 
the heck was that? It sounded like the little orby things. The little shadow orbs. Maybe it was below us? Well, that's a not a great reward for right here, let me tell you. What is this way? Is that boulder just going to self-destruct? We did kill a guy with a hat on. Maybe the boulder just hadn't started yet? Oh! Okay. I'm glad that this spell knocks people over. However, now we have a problem. Gotta watch out for the switch here, I think. Look, he could step on the switch too. Alright. Oh, that was a greater foe. And Grave Lord's Kopesh? Not really familiar with that weapon. This right here does magic damage and bleed. Interesting. Okay, so that boulder never came back, which I'm pretty sure means that it died. So we must have killed its controller, which means I have to follow this path now before we go back and go the other path. Although the other path might have been to the same place, essentially. So this was the other side of that gate where the boulder was hitting. Grave Warden's Ashes. And an S's Shard. No way to open the gate, though, huh? Alright. That will not be a shortcut for us, then. Now, where did this boulder go? We definitely need to go back up. We, it does appear that we killed its master. Wow, you lived? That's amazing. You blocked it somehow. Crabs can block attacks? I'm mostly just here for this. And then I'll be back. I need to go up top first. So I know, I mean, it was still dark down there. I remember that area being much brighter, but I guess everything is just crazy dark in this mod. And we're still, we still have the brightness turned up to max. Okay, so we can walk across this. There's no item right there. There's a switch right there. Oh. Okay, so, I mean, part of me was like, maybe I should hit the switches. Just in case they so one of them does something other than shoot bolts at me. Um, but then my cloud form ran out right then. And my character stopped sprinting. And I looked like a fool. So yeah, the guy that we killed up here must have been the one controlling that. Uh, boulder. Ooh, undead bone shard. So we have a shard, Estus shard, and an undead bone shard. Okay, so now we just need to explore that bottom middle area. 
And then we should be done with this part. Was not ready for that. Wait, this didn't hit you? Why? He dodges it? That's amazing. That, that makes the Stormfront spell. I don't know, that one seems questionable. I definitely expected it to be effective in that situation. Brave Warden Cryomancy Tome. Is this a covenant? Oh, it stops them. It does enough stagger to stop them. What is this? Does this take us to the bridge? Oh, it does. Oh, hello, sir. Is this just gonna throw you off the cliff, please? Thank you. Good thing we didn't hit the bridge with... Suspended bridge is wearing thin. That's just a normal developer message. I don't see Henri up there. Is Horus down there? I guess it's gonna be impossible to see him if he is. So, this is the right way, then. Which means we still need to go back the other way. Because I don't think they link up at all. But we still need to explore down here, which, that might be it. Could be pretty much done exploring down here already. Well, there's something over there, I think. This is just where we came from as well. Oh. Here's something. Where does this go? Thought I saw someone. Wait, are we- we're back here? Wait, that all- it all connects to the same place? I thought we went way further in a different direction. Like, I thought that staircase went too far down. But maybe since at some point we went up enough? Just an I don't know. Apparently this all goes to the same place, so we don't need to go back. Okay. I mean, that's that's a relief in and of its own. Oh. They come from the ceiling? Come on! usually a bunch of rats back here. No rats. I like how they take fall damage. What? Oh, we didn't hit anyone else, huh? Kind of expected to hit something else there. Probably should have equipped a dagger for this. This guy's being a right pain. Alright, right when I have enough mana, you're gonna be a very sad boy. Pretty sure that was a bone wheel skeleton. I got another one of those. Might as well bring it down. Oh, that one didn't take any fall damage. What a jerk. Okay, I don't know why that sometimes just misses the slimes. It's a little bit annoying. K, 
Okay, that's all we got here. Two slimes. Still waiting for, like, extra illusory walls along here. Okay. That's scary because I'm pretty sure those guys will one-shot us if they land on our heads. Where did you come from? We need to get all of them off the ceiling because I'm pretty sure those are one-shots. At least the one time we did get landed on by one, it uh, killed us in one hit because it toxic us. And we died before he let go. Ooh, we killed something else. Oh, we killed a rat. Oh, there's you. I really just don't want to get one shot by his line. <laughs> that would be the worst. We haven't even run into a bonfire at all yet here, have we? Ooh, hello, Mr. Rat. Really? What? Since wicked rats jump that far. Okay, what all do we got? We got two people up there. Make this item safe. Yeah, they're on top of each other. Yeah, I think this room is now safe. Nothing to lock on to. No illusory walls anywhere. Got this blood ring. Probably does the same thing. Makes it so you have more invincibility from your rolling, but it lowers your defenses quite a bit, if I remember. Yeah, it cuts our defenses in by like fourth. Or cuts them to a fourth. Which is not great. I mean, that ring can be good if you have a good roll and you're confident in your rolling, but you're much more likely to get one shot. And right now, for some reason, we're not taking that much damage. So I'm kind of fine with... I mean, the Nameless King armor must be pretty decent, combined with that ring giving us 10% extra defense. We're actually kind of tanky. I expected the Royal Dark Wraith to do way more damage than he did. What was that? There was another one of you. How is that even possible? I've been trying to lock on constantly at the ceiling. We got so lucky that they didn't land on us and just kill us after everything. We're pretty much done. We need to go down this way. We'll get invaded if we do this. There's a bonfire. Maybe we won't get invaded? Nether ring. Probably dark damage. Yeah, boosts all dark damage. Huh. Surprisingly, we did not get invaded. Usually, uh, when you go down here, I mean, obviously, they probably changed it because they put the bonfire there. But usually, Night Slayer Dorig invades you there. And then he kind of, like, traps you. 
Wow, really? Why would you fall down here right now? That doesn't even make any sense. Okay, so I guess we're just going uh, this way. Gonna have everything. We're almost. We're almost to the boss. We're almost done with the catacombs. And then we really only have one more like area that I hate, which is Smoldering Lake. Well, I don't really hate the Smoldering Lake part. I hate the Demon Ruins part. Hello. Okay, well, I meant to dodge. Obviously, it did not happen. Where's the other guy? Like, I see this guy. Right here. Okay. Oh, hello, sir. Let's take you out before you... Oh! Didn't need to fire another. You guys come back? No, we got souls that time. Maybe everyone's coming back once? Right now? Like Dark Souls 1 when you first enter the graveyard? Pull this lever. Okay, so now... That's a real good shortcut. Pretty much done with the catacombs. Okay, grab these last few items. Fleet-footed potion. To make you run faster or something? Temporarily sprint with no stamina usage. Uh, I mean, we already kind of have that. Did all the skeletons spawn? No. So we should be able to walk up here and at least investigate real quick. No, Henri. Why is it so much brighter here than it normally is? Just like this tiny area is bright. There's an item down there. That's all I can see. I can only see the body. Alright, well, let's cross the bridge, knock it down. Uh, when all the skeletons come uh, knocking. I wonder if our spell knocks it down. Although it doesn't seem like there's skeletons spawning. Huh. No skeletons. There's nothing over here. Well, is there going to be a bonfire in front of Walnir? Storm debris. I don't know who just died or why they died. Okay, well, are we just going to fight Walnir now? I guess we should maybe step into Smoldering Lake. See if there's an early bonfire. Because the shortcut that we have... Hello? There we go. The shortcut that we have makes us get here, like, almost instantly. Anything? Any horses down there? There's a wall. Maybe that's a boss room? Could be, could be some sort of boss room. Well, that guy's here. Oh! Um, I meant to do that a little bit differently. I didn't think he'd be aggroed so early. Oh, hello, sir. I mean, you realize two could play at this game, right? Wait, what? 
Um, I wanted to see if we could get the Mimic to fight this guy, but this guy was instantly aggro. And he does a lot of damage, so I'm just gonna do this. Might be a time for this. Oh, you get another soul of a stray demon from this guy instead of just the soul of a demon. Alright. No bonfire quite yet. There is a chest. If it's a mimic, I'm going to be sad because I wanted to make the mimic fight the demon. It is a mimic. That's unfortunate. Hello, sir. Yeah, usually I, I try and make the mimic fight the demon, but that demon was hyper aggressive. Usually he gets like distracted with skeletons and stuff, but I guess there are no skeletons, so. He just went straight for me, walked straight up the stairs, which I didn't really expect, and then I had no choice but to kill him. <laughs> what do you do? Ooh, that's a really good dark staff. Because it has the damage buff. So if we do any dark magic, that's probably our go-to. Which I think the hexes are dark magic. Nothing else over here. Are there going to be still skeletons here? Yeah. Why didn't you spawn a second ago when I needed you to? This room seems ominous. Why is he still taking damage? Um... After he's dead. That was weird. I thought I heard a skeleton coming back. Oh, I did. I heard something. Maybe he spawned in the ground. <laughs> I'm still waiting for there to be an extra illusory wall somewhere around here. I guess not today. You're not a real skeleton? You can see some glowing eyes down there. Which probably indicates enemies. Where? Oh, you. Are you sure you wanted to come back though? Oh, that's a shame. I don't know why the skeletons are letting me hit them after they're dead. Maybe because we have to kill them all twice? So they're technically still alive? Yeah, because after they die the second time you can't hit them twice. Okay. So that other one must have reanimated in the floor. And so he didn't come back to life. What the heck? He got up real quick. I don't think any of these are going to be an illusory wall, but it could be. They definitely seem like they have the ability to code their own illusory walls. So we got the black blade, huh? Which is, I would think, what you normally get from the, the mimic up there. Oh. Right here. 18, 18. 
That's magic damage. Wielded by the swordsman and distinguished guest of High Lord Walnir. Yeah, that's the same as normal. It's a weapon that we could maybe use. I guess it has face scaling though. Never mind, I thought it had intellect scaling. If we have like a magic weapon with intellect scaling, that would diversify our uh, damage types without us needing to invest in different stats, which would be cool. You're embered. Why are you embered? Can't tell if he's an enemy or not yet. Okay, he is. He's a pyromancer. What? Okay. He probably comes back, though. We didn't get any souls. Witch's ring. Is the witch's ring in this game normally? Where is it? Here? Increases all fire damage by 15%? Oh my god. So now it seems like our starting for uh, damage boost was 5%. Then we started to find some 10%. Why is that so dark? Then we started to find some 10%. We even found like a 7.5% at some point. But now there's some 15%. So that's what we're looking for out of our physical damage as well. A nice 15% damage boost. That'll start to replace our current stuff. Are you alive? Is there really no bonfires? Enemies fighting again. I mean, I do like the enemies fighting. It's cool, but let's interfere a little bit. But my intention was to kill Walnir. You're poisoned. Is the ballista doing stuff? And what's going on here? Like, this place is completely looking different. White hair talisman. Oh, here's the bonfire. Okay, good thing we just, like, stepped into here a little bit. That will give us the bonfire that we want. And we'll go ahead and rest here. We will level up. Do those guys fight each other while we're at the bonfire? I guess I don't know who they were fighting. Someone's doing something though. So let's get the level ups. Which should let us finally use that last spell, and I think we don't really like Stormfront. So Storm's Eye. see how good Storm's Eye is. I'm not sure what they're fighting. We'll figure out at some point. That didn't work how I wanted to. This doesn't do what I thought it did. Call a whirlwind upon foes. It seems to be calling it upon me though? Not really what I wanted. Hmm. I don't know how far it goes. We'd have to test it at the dummy. But let's go fight Walnir. I think that is our next thing to do. The smoldering lake, um Yeah, it's also part of the catacomb. So we want here. And we wanna just run. Go fight Walnir. I think Walnir has been completely revamped, if I understand correctly. So he's not the giant guy that you hit in the wrists anymore. Which is fine. It doesn't particularly matter to me either way. Oh! I didn't realize you were an archer. That hit? Uh-oh. I thought they knocked bridge down. Oh my god. Hold up. I mean, they made that a little bit annoying, but you can still just run it. Perfectly fine. Um, I wanted to switch rings. That's what I wanted. 
Back to the lingering. And we'll see if we can fire off any Tempest Lances, but... Hello, wall near. Whoa, okay, not through the wall, please. He's tanky. Okay, but he's not really doing much right now. We might try our other spell. Assuming we can get close enough. Hmm, that didn't really seem that effective. Ah. We probably had him staggered there. Oh, I didn't realize that was that it did that. We accidentally dodged that the first time, I believe, somehow, or maybe we staggered him out of it. Come on. I mean, he's not very good against what we're doing here. We can fire off one more lance, this should be over. He's a running. There we go. There's Wall near. Got some soldiers' remains as well. That should be enough souls to upgrade our weapon, too. Great news. Okay, so what's going on in this room? I can't see anything. And we definitely hit him with the Storm's Eye, but it didn't seem like it did a special amount of damage. Hmm, I thought that might be a special door. There's an item over here. So I've seen two items so far. The first one we didn't go for because it was up top. What else do we have? Yeah, we need to just go test that spell because I don't... I didn't even, like, see how it hit him. It just apparently did hit him. And I think it staggered him because we didn't get hit by that, like, Grave Lord Nito move where it comes out of the floor and stabs you. Okay. Ulicile scroll. Oh, we can't open this. Wasn't sure if we'd be able to open this or not. So is there... Do you not have to fight Walnir? It didn't seem like there was a need to fight him because we'd already progressed past him. Unless this goes somewhere else than I think it does. Jeez, the... Got like really smoky. Smoky looking. I guess to match Irithel, but... Hmm. Alright, well... Yeah, I, I don't know. Is there a need to fight Walnir? Or is he, he now optional because of how things went? So, we need to upgrade our weapon... Um, we could probably check how much, what are we looking at? I guess we also need to do Smoldering Lake, but what was before Smoldering Lake? Let's, let's stop by the, the Watchdog. Let's see where we're supposed to be going next anyways. I wish uh, that increased damage effect, I don't think it increases as you level up the weapon, so we that's why we never did anything with this dagger except wield it. So, Walnir, 
And then Old King. So yeah, I guess we do want to go to Smoldering Lake next anyways. Alright, fair enough. And so let's go to Firelink. We have a Bone Shard. We have an Essence Flash Shard. Um, What else do we have? We have enough soldiers stuff to buy upgrade for our weapon burn the bone shard don't think we have another one and then we need to where is the fire key there you are awkward's gone sirius isn't here again Uh, Leonard never came back for some reason, even though we have the red eye orb. Maybe we should try going down into the area? Because I thought it was obtaining the red eye orb that triggered him. But maybe it's... Maybe it's going to the area? We never did see patches, huh? Oh, well, let's test this. How, how the heck does this work? Okay, so it hits in front of you. How far? That still hits. Okay, hold up. That still hits. That still hits. Okay, this spell is better than it, it appeared at first. I think we were just out of range. Like, this might be out of range now. No, that is not out of range, huh? So this spell seems really good, then. If you can use it at, like, about this range, that's pretty good. Yep, it can still be used here. What about all the way back here? We'll just hold the lock on and then walk back. It's still working back here. Why was it not working in Smoldering Lake? I feel like it should have been. We should also probably look up what to trade with Snuggly Crow at some point. Alright, so Storm's Eye. Pretty legit move, I think. As long as we can get it to work like that in a practical sense. We were just trying to use it on someone who was too far away. So we probably won't be sniping people outside of their aggro range with it, but people that were fighting, it will be effective. Oh, I didn't I didn't go up the other direction. So we want to go up here to buy Titanite Shard. What the? It sounded like a dog chasing me. We got an Ula Seal scroll for you. What did you learn out of that? Hidden body? That's crazy. And feeble. That weakens enemies by 60%. All upon a storm of light descending upon enemies. Teleport. Oh, we saw like a flame dash earlier. Your weapon becomes untethered in time, causing anything struck by it to rapidly age. What does that even mean? Each time you hit an enemy, your weapon deals 100 damage over 5 seconds. This ability can stack. Okay, that's cool. It seems like a flat damage, though. Oh, it seems like it's not going to scale with whatever you're using. We have homing light soul mass, light beam. When do we get another book for our our person? There is much to do. I want another book for you. What what other books do we have? Uh, we have Rylemancy, and we have the Grave Warden's Ashes. And yeah, we need to get some more stuff for you because you have. You've only gotten one book so far. Okay, so... We need one... Or, no, we need two of these. One of these. So, give me two. And one. Hopefully one is enough to get it to plus nine. If not, then, I mean, that's just how it goes. We'll use it at some point. It sounds like a dog. Is that 
Is that one of the NPCs? <laughs> I guess this guy... That guy over there, the Cryomancer dude, kinda seems feral. <laughs> I don't know who let him in here, but... I don't know why I came to talk to Irina, actually. Did we already have this? Yeah, we already have this. Okay, so let's give him the Cryomancy Tome and see what that makes available to us. Okay, what do you have? Frost Orb, I think you already had. Ice Burst, I think you already had. Dark Storm. No, Bissell Storm. Filled with icy sediment. Frozen Weapon. Oblivion. All the icy flames of Abyss upon your foes. Causing a whirlwind. Okay, so I think that's like the spell that we were just using, but maybe worse. Because it, it's not level 55 to use. <laughs> Black Fire or Black Serpent. I think that was a normal spell that was already in the game. Okay, seems cool. Let's get these upgrades going. Uh, reinforce my essence flask, please. And we only had one. Okay, let's reinforce our weapon. So it raises the intellect and the dex scaling. I find it weird how up there where its ability is, it has like an arrow that it's gonna still be the same ability, but it almost acts like the ability could change upon an upgrade. Hmm, you do need two. Well, darn. Hopefully we'll get another one soon, then. And I do want to try raising some other catalysts up when we get the chance. We just need to get done with the storm debris. Which we might be done with it. Let's check real quick. It takes so long after talking to someone to actually be able to do something else. We are done with the storm debris. Oh, oh I was going to check list as well. What does Walnir give us access to? We also get a Titanite slab, but I don't think we need a regular Titanite slab. Where is Walnir's soul? So we got the second stray demon soul. Walnir. Black Ice Burst. Emit a wave of icy fire along the ground in front of you. Has requirements that we can't meet right now. Um, Walnir as well. Call a Bone Wheel Skeleton as your minion. That could be funny, but we don't have faith yet. Does Walnir have another thing? Soul of Lords. Oh, the Firelink Greatsword. Storm King. Is that the Nameless King? Is this a weapon that we might want to use? I don't know. Oh, so in this they just paired together both of Pontiff's weapons? Instead of having them be separate? Lilian, huh? Morian Spear. Anything else for Walnir? No, I guess not. I guess Walnir just has two spells. Okay. And I don't think your inventory ever changes, right? Goodbye. <laughs> So we need to give the ashes to the handmaid. Ah, handmaid. Gracious, let I only. <laughs> then, do you have anything cool now? Not seeing anything particularly special. Hello, carving. Uh, 
Lots of gems. No new keys. Maybe the scythe is new, but not really something that we need. There's Walnir's crown. What does that do? Item discovery and soul gain. That's actually pretty good for what it's worth. If I was trying to farm, I would definitely use Walnir's crown. We might buy it after we buy the sword. Just so we have it in our inventory, so hopefully we don't forget about it. We might still forget about it. Where are we going? Church of Sacrifices. Might be the last time we come here for a while. I don't even know if we're going to use that sword, but... Air Spike. See, that's something that we don't have yet that I feel like we should, but... So we're already using super high level aromancies. And we don't even have something that seems pretty basic like air spike. We should see what covenant we're gonna try and join next. Because there's no point to keep collecting storm debris. But we don't necessarily need to be one of the Ferocin Covenants. We could be something else that also gives Glimmering Dust. If maybe it gives us a better stat line. But I think we need... I think we need the 15 spell speed. Wait, was there something back here? Hmm. I thought I saw like... One of those plants look like it might be a body. I mean, Dark Souls has been known to add items back in past areas after you've accomplished certain things. And he's still fine, even after the catacombs now. Okay, so we got all of the spells. We got all the armor. I mean, we will be back for the Divine Blade at some point, but I just don't know how to make it, so... Then this we need 20 decks to even wield it. But I don't really want to use a dagger. So we might be using this sword. But the stat line for this, like we already have enough decks for this. And we already worked to get that intellect for it. We really just need the strength, so I'd rather level strength instead of decks. For that, I mean, we'll buy this for now. We might not use it. It's whatever. Um, did we send this back down? We did not. So we'll go buy Walnir's crown. And then I guess that's it. And we will be going to Smoldering Lake next time. Fun stuff. Boldering Lake, I mean, especially Demon Ruins, is always a great time. It just takes so long to explore the Demon Ruins. And with illusory walls possibly being in different places, uh, it's going to be a rough one. Ah. Alright, give me Walnir's Crown. Item Discovery and Soul Gain. Yep, that's what we want. Ashen One. And then how much do we need to get level ups now? 35,000. We're almost level 80, huh? We're working on it. All right, well, I guess that is going to do it for this one. Another boss down. Um, and we're making our way to Smoldering Lake. And then what are we doing after Smoldering Lake? I think it just has to be Irithyll, right? But we can always check the watchdog to tell us which way to go. But either way, hopefully you enjoyed this one. And I will see you next time.